Before we start XAMPP, let's make sure that any important changes to the configuration settings, which you may have made in your previous installation, are carried over to this installation. There are four configuration files, which you may have made changes to, which you want to retain. These are the PHP configuration file, php.ini, the configuration file for MySQL, my.ini, and the Apache configuration files for HTTP connections, httpd.conf, and its equivalent for secure connections, httpd-ssl.conf. If you know that you have not made any changes to any of these, then you don't need to do this. But you may have made changes to things like the maximum file upload size in php.ini, in which case you need to carry out these steps for any file that you've changed. We have the original versions of all of these from the previous installation in the xamp-old folder, so we can find and copy each of them to the new installation. First, php.ini is in c backslash xamp old backslash php. In Windows Explorer, navigate to that folder and copy it. Go to the new version, c backslash xamp backslash php, and rename php.ini to php.backup.ini, just in case we need to revert to it. and paste in the file that you've just copied as php.ini. Next, my.ini. This is in c backslash xamp old backslash mysql backslash bin. Copy it, go to c backslash xamp backslash mysql backslash bin. Rename the existing my.ini to my.backup.ini and paste in the file that you've copied here. Next, httpd.conf. Go to the folder c backslash xamp old backslash apache backslash conf and select and copy it. Go to c backslash xamp backslash apache backslash conf. Rename httpd.conf to httpbackup.conf and paste the file that you've just copied in here. Finally, httpd-ssl.conf. You'll find this in c backslash xamp old backslash apache, backslash conf, backslash extra. Copy it. Go to c backslash xamp, backslash apache, backslash conf. Again, make a backup of the existing version. And paste it in here. Now go to the XAMPP control panel. If you want XAMPP to run automatically when Windows starts, as I do, then first stop Apache and MySQL by clicking the stop buttons. Then next to each of them tick the service checkboxes, and then yes. and start both by clicking the Start buttons. Hopefully no error messages will appear, and the report in the bottom half of the control panel will say that Apache and MySQL are both running. Now in your browser, navigate to http colon forward slash forward slash localhost forward slash dashboard, and you should see this XAMPP welcome page. If you see this, then all's well and good and you can skip the next two videos on troubleshooting XAMPP installation and go straight on to the video after that on upgrading PHP MyAdmin. 
If you do not see this welcome page in your browser, or if Apache failed to start and you got error messages in red in the control panel, then you need to carry out the troubleshooting steps in the next video.